Off-grid energy storage system is generally consisted of PV modules, off-grid MPPT inverter, battery, grid power, monitoring devices, and electrical appliances. Crowwatt SPF 5000ES series off-grid inverter can use Wi-Fi or GPIS device for remote monitoring. Also, it can be compatible with lithium battery. SPF 5000ES inverter features PV input voltage up to 430 VDC. Work with battery or without battery. Adjustable inverter charging and output time. Equalization charging function. Unpacking and inspection. Before installation, please inspect the unit. Be sure that nothing inside the package is damaged. Also confirm received below items. LCD display screen. Status indicator. Charging indicator. Fault indicator. Function buttons. AC input port connect grid power or generator power. Wi-Fi and GPIS port for remote monitoring connect remote monitoring device when end user installation site has Wi-Fi signal then can use our Wi-Fi F device. If not, you should select GPIS F device. USB communication port for local monitoring. Select USB communication wire directly connected to PC and inverter, then can use PV Keeper software, check inverter data and setting parameter. CAN communication port for lithium battery, which with CAN communication protocol. RS-485 communication port for lithium battery, which with RS-485 communication protocol. Dry contact port is a switch output terminal which can be used to deliver a switch signal for external device when battery voltage drops to warning level. PV input port connects solar string which voltage standard is different based on different capacity inverter. Power on and off switch button used for turn on and off inverter. Battery input port connect 40A VDC battery. Parallel communication port for parallel system only and can parallel 6 units maximum that power capacity up to 30 kW. Current sharing port for parallel model system which each phase should parallel inverter to increase system capacity. AC output connector load or distribution box. Circuit breaker for input over current protection. Before installation, we need to prepare the tools. Do not mount the inverter on flammable construction materials. Mount on solid surface. Install this inverter at eye level in order to allow the LCD display to be read at all times. The ambient temperature should be between 0 degrees and 55 degrees to ensure optimal operation. The recommended installation position is be adhered to the wall vertically. For proper air circulation to dissipate heat, allow a clearance of approximate 20 cm to the side and approximate 50 cm above and below the unit. Be sure to keep other objects and surfaces as shown in the diagram to guarantee sufficient heat dissipation and to have enough space for removing wires. The top mountain hole's distance is 180 mm and use the M4 screw. The bottom mountain hole's distance is 270 mm and use M4 or M5 screw. Battery input port. Connect to AWG size cable. AC input port. Connect 8 AWG size cable. AC output port. Connect 8 AWG size cable. PV input port. Connect 8 AWG sides cable. Push USB Wi-Fi. Plug the USB Wi-Fi. Stick into the Wi-Fi and GPIS port and tighten it by screw. Power on and off button. Once the unit has been properly installed and batteries are connected well, then can turn on inverter. 
after pressing and holding enter button for 3 seconds. The inverter will enter setting mode, press up and down button to select setting programs. Program 1. Output source priority include SOL, UEI, SBU, SUB, SOL is min, solar energy provides power to the loads as first priority. If solar energy is not sufficient to power all connected loads, battery energy will supply power the loads at the same time. Grid provides power to the loads only when any one condition happens. Solar energy is not available. Battery voltage drops to low level warning voltage or the setting point in program 12. SUB is mean. Solar energy provides power to the loads as first priority. If solar energy is not sufficient to power all connected loads, grid energy will supply power the loads at the same time. Battery provides power to the loads only when solar power is not sufficient and there's not grid. Program 05. Battery type include IGM, Flood, USE, Lithium USE 2. If you want to connect lithium battery, please check our lithium battery capability list and setting relevant battery type and communication protocol. Program 14. Charger source priority modes include CSO, Solar First, CUE, Grid First, SNU, Solar and Grid, OSO, Only Solar. Note. When inverter is working in line, standby or fault mode, charger source can be programmed. Program 19. Bulk charging voltage CV voltage setting from 48 volts to 58.4 volts. When program 5 setting to user mode. Program 20. Floating charging voltage setting from 48 volt to 58.4 volts. When program 5 setting to user mode. Program 21. Low DC cutoff voltage setting from 40 volts to 48 volts. When program 5 setting to user mode. Program 23. AC output mode. When the units are used parallel in single phase system, please select the PAL in program 23. If the units need for parallel in three phase system, Please select 3P1 in program 23 for inverter which connected to L1 phase, 3P2 for L2 phase, 3P3 for L3 phase. More setting information, please check user manual. There is a troubleshooting suggestion in our user manual. If inverter gives the fault information, you can refer to the list to repair it. If there is something you cannot deal with, please contact Robot Service Center.